Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan and let the annual winter essentials video commence. I'm going to be covering the sexiest winter essentials for men for this winter 2023 going into 2024. So keep in mind these suggestions all fall into the category of creating a timeless classic wardrobe that will remain functional and stylish for many years to come. Because of the fact that I take that approach with my fashion videos, I think all of the recommendations I had on my fall fashion list can also transition into winter as well. And that is the power of an intentional capsule wardrobe. So before we get into the video, I did also wanna just let you guys know that I actually started a new YouTube channel. I'll link it below for you guys in the description if you're interested in checking it out. On that channel, I'm gonna be posting videos about fashion, fragrance, some vlogs, all kinds of different stuff. It's just going to be a little bit more personal, a little bit more about me. I don't typically share a lot about myself on this channel. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, definitely go check it out. And I would love to see you guys all over there as well. Number one is probably the most obvious and my favorite of all, which is a wool overcoat. There is just nothing quite like an overcoat that fits a man perfectly, accentuating the shoulder, lengthening the body. I adore these. My recommendation would be to go for a neutral color that you'll be able to pair seamlessly with everything that you already have in your wardrobe. So things like black, charcoal, brown, navy, the neutrals, the basics, this is going to make your life easier. You really wanna think about the colors that you wear most, what you already have in your wardrobe. You know, if you're a guy who wears a lot of olive greens and tans and browns, maybe you wanna go for a brown coat. If you're someone who wears a lot of black or gray or you just gravitate towards more cool tones, um, then I would recommend probably a black or a charcoal. Um, so again, really depends on what your current wardrobe is. And what I love about a wool overcoat is that you can dress these up or down, which makes them even more versatile. You know, you could wear this with a suit on the day you're dressed your very best, but you could also wear this with denim and boots and just make your outfit look a little bit more elevated. Not only is this a piece that's going to be functional and keep you warm because it's made out of wool, um, but it's also going to look really nice too, which is what I love about it. And why, when I compare it to other types of coats, you know, where you live also plays a role. And I think that's something to keep in mind throughout the entire video. Maybe not all of these will apply to you, or you might have to go a step further if you live somewhere even colder. Um, you know, you might also need a parka or a, some sort of puffer down jacket. Um, but the issue with those is that they can't be elevated or really dressed up as much as you know a wool overcoat could. Listen, I know there are times when we have to choose functionality over style. That's just the way that it is. I have learned that the hard way as I've gotten older and I've been wildly and appropriately dressed for the weather um, and I've been freezing and I should have worn my puffer coat and not my trench coat, you know? So I totally get it. Um, but that's why I think a wool overcoat is so great because you do get the functionality of something that's not only going to keep you warm, but also be stylish. A lot of you guys ask me about pea coats or just shorter style jackets. And I think those can absolutely be great too. If you have the budget to get more than one coat, maybe go for that. But if you are only getting one, I would recommend a longer style just because I think these can be elevated a bit more. They're more versatile and they're going to keep you warmer because they cover more of your body. Win-win. Okay, my next essential is Knitwear 101. Now I have this as a broad point, but I think there are kind of two easy categories to think about for this. We have heavier knits. By heavier, I mean a heavier weight. They are thicker, heavier fabrics, and great for the ultra cold temps. Things like a cozy cable knit or a thick cardigan that you can pop over any lighter weight base layer. These are great for layering because they are a bit chunkier, right? They're not so skin tight. You could easily wear a long sleeve shirt underneath a thicker cable knit um, and nobody would be able to tell and you would have an extra layer under there to keep you warm, depending on what you're doing for the day or what, what situation you're in, right? So looking at the other category here, we have our more fine knits, which are going to be a little bit more lightweight, but again, still really great for layering. You know, maybe you go for a mock neck or a turtleneck, which is my personal favorite. I know some of you guys don't like them. Maybe a crew neck. I'm also a big fan of a wool polo type of sweater or like a little quarter zip. I think these look really great as well. And something to keep in mind here, you could absolutely get a cable knit sweater that was a more fine knit. Just because it's a cable knit or a cardigan doesn't automatically make it a heavier knit. I wanna make that clear because I feel like that might be kind of confusing to people. I'm just giving examples of heavier knits that I typically like the look of, and then finer knits that I typically like the look of. I would recommend having some variety, so maybe a few heavy knits, a few finer knits. They're just good for different situations. Next up, we have the tried and true flannel. These are awesome in the fall, completely on their own before it gets super cold out, um, but perfect for layering in the winter. 
I'm really into the flannels that are just a solid color with no pattern. They are still the flannel material that we all know and we all love. They're just a new, more modern, and in my opinion, elevated spin on a classic. You know, a flannel doesn't necessarily mean the red and green one that you had to wear for family photos, um, although that one is great too. You know, if you're a guy who doesn't really gravitate towards the prints or the patterns and you prefer something more solid or subdued and wanna maximize versatility, there are a ton of great flannel options out there that are just a solid color with that wonderful flannel material that's going to keep you nice and warm. Next up, we have dark denim. Put away your light wash, gentlemen. Dark denim season is upon us, although I would have said the same thing for my fall video. Dark denim is my personal favorite, as many of you who have been here for a while probably already know. And if you want my opinion, I would recommend going for a selvage denim. So selvage denim is a type of denim fabric that has a self-finished edge. The term selvage comes from self-edge, which refers to the tightly woven band on both edges of the fabric. So this edge is going to prevent the fabric from unraveling or fraying and just gives it a more clean, finished look. Selvage denim is usually woven on a traditional shuttle loom, which produce a narrower fabric width compared to modern projectile looms. Selvage denim is known for its durability, which is why I love it so much, unique character, and is often associated with high quality denim jeans. Next up, we have wool trousers. These are perfect for the colder months and simultaneously keep you warm and stylish, which is a win-win. These are an awesome choice if you wanna elevate your outfit more than a denim or a basic chino. Not only do they look sophisticated and chic, they also keep you nice and warm on a chilly day. You could pair these with a turtleneck, a nice pair of boots and your wool overcoat and call it a day. Which leads me into my next point, which is weather appropriate boots. Now this is really going to depend on where you live, which is why I have the little weather appropriate point in there. If you live somewhere with true winter weather, snow, ew, I'd recommend getting something with a rubber sole that's going to be a bit more durable for you than say a suede Chelsea boot with a leather sole. Now you can absolutely have more than one pair if the budget allows for that, that you wear in different scenarios and weather situations, but I'd highly recommend considering the functionality, especially with something like a shoe that is taking the brunt of all of your walking, you know, you're hitting the ground with these. So make sure the functionality is there for your shoes. If nothing else, let it be the shoes. You know, if you are outside in four inches of snow with a pair of suede Chelsea boots on, good luck. If you haven't already, check out Thursday Boots. A lot of you guys always ask me for boot recommendations. Not sponsored, not an affiliate. I just really like the boots. Um, and I found that they are a great quality boot that also look great and are more affordable, which, you know, we wanna get the most bang for our buck here. Not everyone has the budget for a $500 pair of boots. So if that is you, I would check out Thursday Boots. They are incredible. Next up is wool socks. And these are a must have to pair with your boots. And the reason is, have you ever worn ankle socks with a pair of boots? Because that is something that, quite frankly, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. You know, get yourself a few pairs of wool socks that are going to be more comfortable and warm than the socks you're rocking at the gym, right? You know, different scenarios call for different pairs of socks. You know, in the wintertime, you need a nice pair of wool socks that are not only going to keep you warm, but that are not going to slip under your heel while you're walking in your boots. Because as someone who's done that, mistakenly who has done that, that is one of the worst things ever in terms of fashion mishaps. So don't let that be you. Get yourself some higher wool socks that are going to make your life a heck of a lot easier. Next up, we have a scarf, which is a great accessory to throw on for a little extra spice to your outfit. These are functional, they're stylish, can't go wrong with that. This can also be a great way to add a little fun flair to your outfit, maybe through a cozy texture or a stylish pattern. You know, again, as I mentioned earlier, maybe you're a guy who gravitates towards the solids, the basics, um, and you like your outfits to be a little bit more subdued. If that is the case and you feel like your outfits are a little bit boring, you can throw on a nice scarf with a texture, a stylish pattern um, that are going to just elevate your outfit and make it a little bit more interesting. But also, you can't go wrong with a solid scarf as well that's going to go with everything in your wardrobe. Next up, we have one that I know not all of you will be a fan of. And I know that, and I've accepted that, and I'm okay with it. But I think these are so hot, so I had to include them on the list. And that is leather gloves. They are functional, they are practical, and they add a touch of elegance to any outfit. What I love about this list is that everything can be worn together and interchanged and mix and matched. You could wear your leather gloves with a nice cable knit sweater and your overcoat and a scarf and a pair of dark denim or wool trousers with your boots and 
my friend, you're good to go. That is the perfect winter outfit in my opinion. So I know not all of you will be a fan of them. I understand that. I'm ready to be roasted down in the comment section, but I think they are incredibly sexy and elegant and just elevated, which I love about them. And lastly, no list of mine would be complete without a fragrance. So for winter, we obviously have a cozy winter fragrance here on the list. In the winter, you need a cozy fragrance that smells like a hug. Think of warm notes like oud, amber, musk, vanilla, woody notes, maybe something a little bit spicy and sweet. If you want specific recommendations, I can try to help you down in the comment section. So let me know if you need help. In the description, I'm also going to be adding some links for you of current products that I found online um, that fall under all the categories I talked about today that I think you guys would really like, that I like, they are Courtney approved, um, because a lot of you guys always ask me for fashion advice. And I think it's, it's helpful to sometimes give more specific recommendations. Even if you don't necessarily go with the recommendation I give, you could find something similar, whether it's a price point above what I give or below what I give. There's always more than one option out there, right? And if I give you a suggestion, it's easy then to find a more affordable one or a more expensive one, but just something that kind of looks the same or looks similar. I think that really might help a lot of you. And I don't typically do that with my fashion videos just because it is a little bit time consuming to scour the internet. Um, but I think it could be really helpful. So I'm gonna try that. If you guys like that, I can keep doing that going forward. You can let me know. Also let me know down in the comments what other type of fashion videos you would like to see from me. I love doing these videos. They're my favorite type of videos to make. Um, so I really would like to start doing them more. They don't get as many views typically as the other content that I do on my channel, but to be transparent, I truly don't care because I like making them. It's just more lighthearted and fun for me. And it's something that I, I genuinely get excited about doing. So I'm happy to do it. Um, let me know down below what type of fashion content you wanna see from me, specific video ideas. Um, if you want me to react to things, let me know, but happy to do it. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.